welcome. In this video, we focus on how to use mathematical induction to show that a given formula is correct. So we use mathematical induction to show that a formula is correct or a given theorem is correct. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to show that it is correct uh, for the smallest possible integer. Okay, you can say maybe n is equal to 1 or n is equal to 2, you show that it is correct for that particular value. Then the next thing that you have to do is uh, to assume it is correct for some other positive integer, say k, you are going to make one equation. Then if it is true for k, it should also be true for, ne for the next value, which is uh, k plus 1. So from uh, those two equations, then you can, you can see if the given formula is correct. So the first thing that we have to do is to say let n equal to 1. We have to show that this particular formula is true for the smallest possible integer or for the smallest integer n. So I'm going to take n is equal to 1 as the smallest possible integer. So whenever there is n, I'll put 1. Okay. So this would be 1 squared is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1. Uh, 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 divided by 6. This will be 2. 2 multiplied by 3, we are going to have 1 is equal to 6 divided by 6. 1 is equal to 1. So we've shown that it is true for the smallest integer uh, 1. Okay, so that is the first step. The next step that you have to do is uh, you have to show that this particular formula, or you have to assume it is true for some other positive integer k, okay? So you say n equal to k, we assume, we assume n is equal to k and this formula is true. So if it is true for n is equal to k, whenever there is n, I have to put k. So this will start 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus up to k squared. Uh, this is equal to k. Whenever there is n, I'll put k, k plus 1, 2k uh, plus 1, everything divided by 6. Okay, now once you, you, you assume it is true for k, you name this equation as equation 1. Okay, this can be the first equation. Okay, you can call it the first equation. If it is true for n is equal to k, then it should also be true for the next value to k, which is k plus 1, okay? So now the next thing that you're going to do is, you're going to say it should be true for the next value, which is uh, n is equal to k plus 1, okay? Then from there, I'm going to plug k plus 1 whenever there is n in that particular equation, and I'll call this one equation 2, okay? Then I will try to see if the right-hand side and the left-hand side of the Second equation that I'm going to make from this, uh, they are equal. Then, if they are equal, then it means this particular equation is correct. Now, if we assume it is true for some positive integer k, it should also be true for the next uh, positive integer, which is a k plus 1. So, we are going to say n is equal to k plus 1. Okay? Now, in this particular equation, whenever there is n, I'll put k plus 1. So what we're going to have is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, the next one, the next one will be plus a k plus k plus 1. Remember these are squared. Is equal to? So whenever there is uh, n, I'll put k plus 1. So this would be k plus 1. Okay, then here we're going to have k plus 1 plus 1. Then here we are going to have 2 multiplied by k plus 1 plus 1. Then everything we're going to divide here by uh, 6. So I can call this one my second equation. Now I have to simplify my second equation. So this would be... 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus this would be a k 
k squared plus k plus 1 squared is equal to this will be k plus 1 this will be k plus 2 this will be 2k plus 3 then divide by 6 so this one I can call it a second equation now for my second equation there I have to show that this one we can call it the left hand side is equal to the right hand side I have to show that the left hand side this statement is equal to the right hand side if they are the same then we are going to say we've used mathematical induction to show that this particular formula is correct okay so now when you look at this from here when you look at this this one is what we did here this is what we have but this was giving us this so whenever there is this I will replace this I will replace this thing I will replace it with this then once I replace I'm going to show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side because there are some other values that are missing here so to simplify my working I have to use this particular statement whenever it is this because we know that the summation of all these is equal to that so we are going to use the second equation the right side of the second uh, the first equation to plug it in the second equation here so that once we add to this we should be able to get so we can see that our second equation is this one after assuming n is equal to uh, k plus 1 now when you reach here the next number will be k plus 1 that we are squaring so you can see that this one is equal to the right side of uh, equation 1 okay the right hand side of equation 1 is this one so instead of me writing this whole thing I will replace with this part so this will be uh, k uh, k plus 1 2k plus 1 over 6 uh, plus k plus 1 squared this is equal to this one so this is k plus 1, k plus 2, 2k plus 3, divided by 6. So this is my left hand side, and this would be the right hand side. So I have to show that these two things are, are similar. So I can here k plus 1. And there we have k plus 1, and there we have k plus 1. If I want, I can simplify k plus 1. Okay, I can multiply throughout by the reciprocal of k plus 1. If I try to multiply with uh, 1, like the whole of this statement, I'll multiply with 1 over k plus 1. It will simplify here, it will simplify there, it will also simplify there. So what we're going to have is k multiplied by k and uh, 2k plus 1 over 6 uh, plus k plus 1 remember it will simplify is equal to k plus 2 2k plus 3 divided by 6 so now I have to simplify this and I have to simplify that and see if these two statements are going to be uh, the same. So I'm going to simplify uh, the left hand side and the right hand side and see if they are going to be the same. So if I try to simplify here, I'll get uh, 2k squared, then this multiplied by that, I'll get plus k, plus this multiplied by that, I'll get 6k. And this plus uh, this multiplied by that, I'll get uh, plus six. But this is dividing uh, six. Then here I'll simplify this. I'm going to have two k squared plus seven k plus six divided by six. Again, I'll try to simplify this two of k squared plus seven k 
plus 6 all over 6 is equal to 2k squared plus 7k and plus 6. So you can see that uh, the left hand side uh, is equal to the right hand side. So once you reach this stage where the left hand side is equal to the uh, right hand side, then it means these two statements or the given formula is correct. So now if you are asked to find or to show that a given theorem or formula uh, is uh, true using mathematical induction, the first thing that you need to do is assume the smallest maybe possible integer n is equal to 1. Try to prove that it is true for n is equal to 1, then assume it is true for n is equal to some positive integer k. Then the next thing that you have to do is assume it is also true for the next value to k, which is uh, k plus 1. Okay, n is equal to k plus 1. So from there, you prove that the right-hand side of this and the left-hand side of this particular equation that you're going to form from this, it is correct. So once you show that, then it means the given formula or the given theorem is correct. But there are instances when they ask you such a question and it is not going to come out like that, then it means the given particular formula or the theorem is uh, wrong or it's not correct. So for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for